testing for monkeypox, a crucial part of containing the growing outbreak, has gotten off to a sluggish start at the five commercial laboratories that are doing nearly all of the nation's testing, CNN has learned. Mayo Clinic Laboratories, for example, has the capacity to process 1,000 monkeypox samples a week but has received only 45 specimens from doctors since starting monkeypox testing July 11. Another of the labs, Aegis Sciences Corporation, can do 5,000 tests per week but has received zero samples over the past two weeks. At LabCorp, one of the largest commercial labs in the U.S., uptake has been higher but still extremely low, according to Dr. Brian Caveney, the lab's president of diagnostics. Those numbers are shocking, said Dr. Peter Chin Hong, a member of the California Department of Public Health's Monkeypox Virus Scientific Advisory Committee. This is really, really concerning. It's like COVID PTSD, he said, referring to the early phase of the pandemic when coronavirus testing was extremely limited. While the anxiety is the same, the reasons are different because for COVID-19, the testing capacity was low, and for monkeypox, the capacity is plentiful but the demand is low.